So, what are your names? I know I've only been surviving the apocalypse with you for a few hours, but... Rara, and this is Babs. We met yesterday. We're both still getting to know each other, too. It isn't a longer interesting story. We kind of just saw each other and immediately teamed up. Neither of us had seen any other ponies in this area who were, um, normal. And us regular, non-crazy ponies got to stick together, right? Right. Thank you for letting me tag along. I'm Blue Bobbin, but you can call me Bobby. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's, uh, it's nice not to be alone. I think we need to get you more geared up. It's not safe to walk around with our protective clothing and equipment. But I guess not every pony has thought about that amidst the chaos, which is understandable. There will be something in this gift shop that'll work. I'll check to make sure that it's safe. <sighs> it's safe. The store's only tiny. I think most ponies around here left as there isn't really anywhere to go but into the ocean. This Lady Liberty's quite hard to look at in the dark. It certainly freaked me out. I thought it was one of the infected. Well, it's a good thing it isn't, or we'd be done for. Here we go. Rock pouch. You can use that for carrying things. And uh, an overpriced tourist jacket. I have some bandages in my bag that you can wrap around your legs for extra bite protection if you want. Wow. You sure seem to know how to handle yourself in all this. I'm surprised. I guess I assume that because you're all pretty and famous that you wouldn't. Thanks. I went to a lot of camps as a filly, and I learned a bit about various survival techniques. I guess now they're coming in more handy than my singing career. I'm not surprised. I learned not to judge a mare by her cover a long time ago. My boss in the boutique that I worked in on Saddle Row is one of the most elegant and gorgeous mares I've ever met. And she's helped save Equestria alongside Princess Twilight on multiple occasions. And heck, all four of the princesses are traditionally feminine mares and they're all badasses. I guess that's true. I didn't really think about that. I just assume since they're all alicorns, they can do anything. I actually met Princess Twilight once when she was still a unicorn. My cousins in Ponyville are good friends of hers. My cousin Applejack is responsible for helping saving Equestria alongside her, too. That's a crazy coincidence that we both know saviors of Equestria personally. Especially saviors of Equestria who are friends with each other. Applejack? As in Sweet Apple Acres Applejack? This is uncanny. She was a good friend of mine when I was a filly. We met at the camp I was just talking about. You know Applejack? That's crazy. She's the pony who first started calling me Rara. That really is crazy. Out of all of the mutual friends we could possibly have, out of all of the ponies in the world, they happen to be the ones that are probably out trying to stop this disaster right now. So, is Rara short for something? What did your name used to be? My full name is Coloratura. It's a mouthful, even when there isn't a title in front of it. I prefer it shortened to Rara. Wait, like Countess Coloratura? Sweet Celestia, I didn't even recognize you without all the makeup. I know you said you had a singing career and it was going well, but I assumed you were a small artist or something. I can't believe I didn't recognize you, though I've, I've never been a big enough fan to study your face or anything. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan. I, I, I love your music. I just... Well, <laughs> sorry. I guess I wasn't ever expecting to meet you in person. <laughs> That's okay. I don't expect every pony I meet to know everything about me. It's honestly quite refreshing just to be like every pony else. Even if the world is ending around us. It's not ending. The sun may have stopped rising all the way, but that doesn't mean Applejack and Princess Twilight won't save us. Even if it were the end of the world, you'd definitely be looking the part. It must be some of that boutique experience. Say the word and I'll give you a nice post-apocalyptic haircut to go with it. 